Now the, ki the kids are back in school. It's time to motivate yourself to get back into your fitness routine. The diet and workout can be easy, but how do you get back to it mentally? Well, the bikini boss, Teresa DePasquale, is here with some tips on how to help you. This is such a good topic, Teresa. First off, how have you been? We always love when you're here. I am awesome. I'm so ready for my kids to go back. They go back Thursday. <laughs> Can I get a hand for all the moms She's out there? She's counting down for all the moms out there. And that's kind of what we're tackling in, in a way. And normally we always get decked out. I always get my workout clothes on. But yes. today you told me I didn't have to do that. Yeah, Why because that? I wanted to come on and talk about something that I think a lot of fitness experts kind of leave on the wayside, which is the most important part, which is the mental component. And so I call it mental fitness. Because if you think about it, you could have the best gym membership or the best trainer. But if you're not motivated, you're not organized, or you can't even make the time to get there, what's the point? And so I find like with moms especially, we have this hard time like trying to figure out how to balance and juggle all these things. And I find so many women are so successful with their career, we were just talking about this, you know, it's the same principles that apply if you think about it. So success principles for your job, which is like productivity, time management, setting goals, those are all the same things that apply for your fitness. Hmm. Yeah. And so, so I kind of wanted to break that down. And this is some things that have really helped me. And that's the whole point, like I was telling you that I wrote in my book about is the mental component. I was gonna say, so uh, again, one, I was, I was happy to hear, you know, that it's kind of, we're tackling the mental aspects. Yes. And at first I was like, okay, I'm pretty good about that, but actually, no, I'm not. I completely can relate to that, especially that very first thing though, like setting the time to actually go. Yep. That, I mean, that's where I struggle. How can you help? So I think one of the most important things if you think about is what is your goal? Like you have to have a goal to even work towards, to even be able to, to get there in the beginning. So it's like outlining what you want. Do you wanna lose 30 pounds? Do you wanna get in better shape? Whatever your goal is, make sure you have that goal to begin with. Now to what you're talking about, once you have a goal, then you can say, okay, how do I get to that goal, right? That's when we talk about productivity and you know putting things like the gym on your calendar, that's so important. Um, figuring out how to organize so that you can do the meal prep thing, you can get to the grocery store in time, you can set yourself up for success. Right. Let's, let's, I want to rewind actually to the goals. Let's go back to the goals. Does it need to be, and just because in our job, they always teach us that our goals have to be very specific. Mm -hmm. Do our fitness goals have to be very specific or can they be, like my fitness goal would be like, I work out because I know I should kind of thing. That's I probably think they not should. a good goal. I think they should. And, and, and just like anything, you know, you may not hit that goal, okay. but the more specific, the closer you are going to be to hitting it. Okay. If you just say a general, I want to work out, you're probably less likely, you're not going to be as inclined to do the things you need to do. Whereas if you're like, I want to lose 30 pounds by January 1st, okay. you're going to look every month and say, oh gosh, you know, I haven't, I haven't lost any weight this month. I probably need to get up. You know, what can I do to better organize or to do these things to hold myself accountable? Okay. So, and that's where my next tip is you have to hold yourself accountable. And so I call it BYOB. And, and I think this is a different B at YOB, you know, Teresa. Not so you're not about talking about uh, bringing your own beverages, <laughs> We're not are bringing you? our own beer because that's not going to be conducive to our fitness goals. <sighs> but, yeah, you have to be your own boss and hold yourself accountable. So when you have all these, you know, goals outlined and you have this on your calendar, you got to put your big girl pants on, like I call it my book, and you got to say, you know what, I have a gym appointment this time. i got to hold myself to it. And you're going to be much more inclined to do that if you have it scheduled out and you're organized. So it's all, all these things that you do at your job translate into your fitness, and that's how you can be successful. Well, I say, let's revisit the goals. Let's put them up yes. on the screen so everybody can have it because I think they're very important. Again, I'm used to thinking of like you coming in and saying, okay, do 20 squats. But here's that's one part of it. Plan. Yeah, exactly. So when I say understanding what you want, I mean goal setting is like we were talking about is really verbalize and you know articulate to yourself what it is that you want out of your fitness. Whether it's just feeling better, looking better, losing weight, getting more flexible. There's so many different fitness goals. Understand what your goal is. Um, number two is devising a plan to get it. I call that, it's productivity. You know, mm -hmm. like if you- And I you, like that you're making that relation to career. Because you it think is. that in a it's career same thing. and a business. Exactly. So you just gotta, you gotta run your life like your business. And then the third one is just holding yourself accountable. You know, all these things are great, but at the end of the day, you have to hold yourself accountable to achieve them. Again, Teresa, this topic at first, I was like, what are we going to be talking about today? What do I don't have to change? But these are great things. Thank you so much. You're Where can we welcome. send people to get more information about what you do, though, in the Bikini Boss world? Um, so they can go to my website, which is bikinibossfitness.com. Okay. And I'll say there's your book, Boss yep. to Bikini, as well. Teresa, thanks yes. for coming in today. Yes, thank you for having me. 100% mental, folks. Absolutely. Stay tuned.